All right, Shalom. Okay, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS and to the elect doing the work out there. I want to say Shalom. This is GMS Precepts. My name is Mazar Khad. I got a quick article I wanted to touch on uh, that I just ran across. This is from CNBC News. As you can see, it says Dow drops more than 700 points. All right, on trade fears. Uh, Post the worst day since February eighth. All right, so this place is this place is on its way down, man. Uh, look at that. It says the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped seven hundred twenty four point forty two points to close at twenty three, damn near twenty four thousand, with Caterpillar, three M, and Boeing as the biggest decliners. Okay, now they're saying that um, I read this first paragraph. U.S. stocks fell sharply on Thursday, pressured by worries of potential trade war and a decline in tech shares. All right, now that trade war that it's speaking about is against is with uh, with uh, against China, right? It says the Trump administration unveiled tariffs designed to punish uh, China for intellectual property theft, imposing $60 billion in retaliatory charges. So a tariff is basically like a tax. Okay, so America or Trump wants to pass extra taxes on China. Um, basically, basically because uh, um, America was it's, it's their own damn fault. You you see how the Most High is systematically breaking this country down. Uh, the Most High allowed America to be reliant on outside sources, um, to to be a major importer than an exporter. America, uh imports far more than they export so then in turn they have to be relying on on these other nations and china is like the biggest one of the biggest exporters in the world right so let me get that article um president drops tariffs on china which is basically like a um a tax it says trump slaps china with tar tariffs on up to 60 billion in imports this is the this is the first of many so i mean whether this is uh basically what this what this dude is doing it's too little too late man because there's no turning back america man there's no bringing there's no he, he said what was his quote bing let's bring america let's make america great again there's no making america great again man okay matter of fact let me uh that reminds me of of that scripture in Jeremiah, okay? And I'll close it out on that. I just wanted to bring that article out real quick. This is Jeremiah 50, 51, okay? It says uh, right here, verse 7, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. It's really verse 8, but I saw that 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, right? Babylon, which is America, has been that top nation on the planet Earth for the past. It it, it, it really, it reaches apex um, after it dropped the bombs, uh, fat man and little boy, okay? That's when America hit, hit its apex. No no other nation uh, could, could, could really come against it. Just like it tells you in uh, Isaiah 14 chapter. So, continuing on, it says, uh, That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. That, yeah, these other nations are mad because you got people in their country wanting to follow the ways and philosophies and doings of America, which the doings of America are total wickedness, right? So, verse 8 says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. Now, balm, what you would call like lip balm, balm is like a, a, he, a healing agent, right? When you have chapped lips, you take lip balm or chapstick, and that heals your, your, uh, your, uh, uh, your, and moisturizes your chapped lips, okay? But America, there's no healing Babylon. There's no, there's no balm that can cure the, uh, the, the, the financial mishap that America's in, man, okay? America is done, and this uh, article is just another proof of that, man, all right? Trump slaps China with tariffs uh, up to $60 billion, okay? So that's the trade war, man. 
This is an actual trade war that's going on. That's a, that's a war that's going on with this, with these other nations, man. Okay? And and he's saying this is the first of many. So there's more to come after this. Okay? It says it says uh the, the new measures are designed to uh, penalize China for trade practices that Trump administration says of, involved stealing American companies' intellectual property. That's bullshit because, he, okay, if that's the case, then you wouldn't outsource these these certain jobs to other companies, man. If that was the case, you you would you would keep everything uh, in house. All right, it says like like all your goddamn companies you have, man. All the sweatshops, the, these big uh, cl clothing companies have, they all outsource them shits. All right, you got those tech companies, they got the IT, they, they hire the IT uh, people from these uh, uh, Indian countries. And then, and then when they do that, they get a tax break from the government, right? So it says, uh, they will primarily target certain products in the technology sector where China holds an advantage over the U.S. And that's all your TVs, okay? Your, your, your Blu-rays or whatever type of ele electronic, your cell phones, all, all those electronics you have, they're all made in China. So now a TV, TVs, TVs are cheap now, man. You can get a goddamn 50, you, you can get a 50 inch screen for like fucking $400, man. Okay, so now those prices for those uh, 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 items, those tech items are, are going to cost more, right? Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I wanted to bring that out real quick, this article, as well as the stock market. Can I get that article again? As, as well as the stock market. Look at this fucking whore. The stock market dropping 700, more than 700 points, man. This place is finished, man. America's through. America's through. Okay? All right? Shalom.